Mother Lynx is pregnant and searching for a den, but the night is cold and fearsome predators have caught her scent. Run for it, run for it, Mama Lynx, come on. Come on, oh, she's so pregnant, I can hardly get her to move. Oh, look at her, her belly is hanging so low. All right. Oh, here they come. <gasps> there they are, do you see them? Okay, there are the wolves right up there, we need to keep moving. Come on, Mama Lynx, it's not just you, it's also your whole family. There they are again. Oh my goodness, come on, come on. All right, around the corners. The rest of the forest animals are fleeing. There's the wolves again. Oh, there's a whole pack on her tail. Come on, Mama Lynx, maybe if we can find a really good tree. The other creatures are fleeing as well. Come on, come on. All right, let's do this. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, have we escaped? Oh, I think we've made it. There you go, Mama Lynx. And she managed to get away. Thank goodness. That night, the stars whispered to Mother Lynx. Oh, look! Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> I wanted to catch them, but I don't think we can. Wow. I wonder what they say. I wonder what a lynx could hope for other than safety. Oh, look! Wow. They are whispering. There's entire constellations up there. That's amazing. I feel like you can see almost all the creatures of the forest, right? Caught up in the sky. I wonder which ones would be the biggest. That looks like a wolf over there. Maybe a fish over here. Oh, look at her. She's so tired. Hang in there, Mama Lynx. Is that a person? Or maybe it could be a mole. <laughs> it looks like it's digging into the ground. But I suppose the stars would be made up of constellations that build the world and the little ecosystem that she lives in. Let's see where they take her. Maybe somewhere safe where she can have her little cubs. All right, Mama Lynx. Oh, what about up here? Is there a good den spot for you? Yes, indeed. A lovely shelter where she can bring her family into being. Hello everyone and welcome back to Shelter 2 where we are beginning a new journey with a mother lynx who is going to be taking on the struggles of the wild and doing her best to help her little ones survive. I'm very excited because you can indeed follow many generations of lynxes in Shelter 2, and we have never done that just yet, but I think that we should. It's beautiful. Their stories are beautiful. And I would love to learn more about lynxes along the way as we welcome her little family. Look at them! They're so cute! Oh, here we are into the world. Oh, look at the little yawn. And their little tiny purrs. What a wonderful little family. All right. 
right, so it's time to go ahead and name our little ones. I think we're going to go ahead and name this one. Let's see. Crystal. Crystal, maybe? Or how about Chris? 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 Hmm. It's really tempting to give them fun names. In fact, I think we're going to go ahead and name this one. Ah, snow would be so easy. Like, that would be very... Oh, no, I'm... Okay, we're going to go with my instincts. We're just going to name this one Chris. We are in Inna, and we cannot change our name there. And one of these little ones will hopefully survive and carry on the next generation and the legacy of our Lynx family. So we want to think very carefully about who we name. I want to name this one... Let's go with... Hmm... Let's go with Tell. Chris Tell. Let's see. Talar? Chris Talar. And then we'll go with Vivi. And Kier, I like. I like that as a name. All right, there we go. Our four little lynx cubs. And you all, of course, can provide suggestions that will follow along for traditions for hopefully many more lynxes that we'll be able to have. She ventures into the vast open world, a land full of prey to feed her starving family, who are not yet strong enough to leave the shelter. <laughs> Listen to them trying to call their mom back. She has such a wonderful little shelter for them. Isn't that something we all hope for? A safe shelter we can be in? Oh, listen to them! I hear you, little ones! Oh my gosh, they're so fussy! I love it. Alright, we need to go ahead and find some food for them and some prey. Because we, as Mama Lynx, will need to eat plenty for ourselves. Oh, I hear something. Over there, over there. Okay, there's some bunnies over there. All right, let's go ahead and figure out. Oh, and there's all the things we can collect too. We definitely should work on that and see as our Lynx family becomes stronger and stronger from finding all sorts of different flowers and little sacred pieces of the forest. If we collect all of them, and here are, this is from the mountains DLC. Here are all the things you can collect in the mountains. But if we collect all of them, we will have to build a monument to our Lynx family and a very special place in our zoo crafting world and its fantastic crossover beauty. So I definitely want to try to collect these so that we can build some monuments and remember our Lynx family. And then let's see, what else can I do? I'm trying to remember how to... Okay, there we go. Go, 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 go. Come on, chase down that bunny. Chase down that bunny. Of course it's gonna zig, it's gonna zag. Oh man, oh man, come on. Come on, Mama Lynx. Ah, all right, we're gonna have to figure out how I'm going to be able to chase. Oh, there's more bunnies right over here. All right, oh, and a flower, hey. Speaking of those things that we need to find, I think I just found the flower. One of them. Yeah, look, we found one of the flowers. How exciting. I didn't mean to stumble on that so quickly, but that's okay. All right, now to hunt these bunnies. There are many of them lurking about, and we'll want to make sure that we're crouching and sneaking up on a few of them. Oh, there's one right up there. All right, let's get as close as we can before we go ahead and break into a sprint. Hello, little bunny. Thankfully, we can camouflage pretty well. Go, 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 go. Come on, our family depends on this. Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh, thank goodness, okay. That was kind of intense, woo, and I keep sorry about that. I'm very excited about those flowers, apparently. But we got it! Now we can bring it back for our family to be able to have something to eat. Look! And just like that, winter is beginning to fade away. And spring is beginning to emerge. Alright, and now I'm going to need to figure out how to get back up to our family. Heck! I got a little lost. Ah, there we go. Excellent. 
All right, little ones, you're somewhere around here. I got myself all turned around, but I will find you. There they are. And look what your mom has made for you, huh? Now do I have her drop it? There we go. And there they go. Whoops, sorry guys. <laughs> Apparently I am just very, very, very excited about these flowers and I want to just keep looking at them. <laughs> Whoops. All right, there. All right, so now they have all eaten and there's a little, whoa, we got a little skull, cool. There, oh, we have one. I see to see how many things we have eaten. Okay, that's making more sense to me now. All right, all right, all right. I'll go get more food. Wow, look at the season. Ah, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My screenshot button is apparently the same as the flowers this time. And ah, there we go. That's what's messing it up. All right, there's another bunny. We're definitely gonna need to rest for just a minute or eat ourselves so that I can get a little bit more. Oh, what's that? Come on, come on. Sorry, little mole. I think it's a little mole or like a, a little shrew or something. Oh, look, and there's all the food. Okay. All right, let's put this down and then let's eat. Can, can I eat myself or do just the babies need to eat? Maybe just the babies, okay. I mean, I feel like I need to eat as well, but Let's double check if there's a way to do that. <laughs> it's been so long and I just don't want to accidentally end mama. Let's see. Since and eat with the right mouse, okay. Well, I feel like we should be able to go ahead and eat this little thing then. Oh, there we go, there. All right, now mama has regained some of her energy. And we have a whole bunch of bunnies right over here that we can sneak up on. Go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank goodness. All right, we got another bunny. I think I need to go ahead and eat myself. There, yeah, to regain all of that stamina and energy. And another bunny skull. I don't think the little moles leave behind skulls. Oh, and speaking of little moles. Oh, they can go in the ground though. Oh, sneaky, sneaky, okay. Let's see, where is more food? Apparently over here. All right, we're gonna raise these babies well. Oh geez, this is a lot of bunnies. There's so many bunnies! They might, they might all win just from sheer, I got it. Just from the sheer excitement of not being able to pick which bunny to pursue for a hot minute. All right, and now that we have a hunted one, we don't want to use up all of our stamina like I just was going ahead and running it back to the babies just yet. It's not quite like with our wolf quest where we just dash to and fro with bellies full of elk meat trying to make sure our wolf cubs survive. Let's see, I might need to eat a little of this, but in fact, there's another group of bunnies. So I'm gonna drop this and I'm gonna eat this bunny, and then fingers crossed, we can sneak up on these ones a little bit better. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, I feel like we're learning how to be a good hunter. Excellent. I wonder how many bunny skulls we'll end up collecting. Probably a lot. In fact, I do remember reading somewhere and hopefully as time goes on, I will have even more awesome Lynx facts to share with you guys. But I do remember reading somewhere that the main prey that Canadian lynxes actually eat are rabbits. And the Canadian lynxes and the rabbit populations as they boom and bust from having enough resources to eat a ton of things actually determine uh, one another's populations quite significantly. The populations that you'll get. Can I jump? I thought I could jump, but apparently not. But the populations of lynxes is heavily managed by the populations of rabbits and vice versa. Oh, that bunny. Clever thing leading me into a little trap like that. 
Oh, more bunnies, more bunnies. Go, 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 go. Come on, mama, come on. It's so close. Yes. All right, and there's another spot. So do we bring it back to the babies now? How hungry am I? Oh, very hungry. Let's go ahead and have her eat. Oh, look at that. Is that a little butterfly? I wonder if you can get something from collecting the little butterflies. A good sign that it is spring, but the seasons will indeed pass. Okay, pick up a rabbit and stick with it. Got it. And what we need to do now is hopefully help our children to get strong enough so they'll be able to leave the shelter that we have been able to provide for them. And once they can leave the shelter, there we go, let's get a little bit more running. Then they'll be able to leave as the seasons change and follow us along. They need to start learning how to be able to do some hunting of their own. So that's going to be one of our big goals. Is to bring our little ones out of their shelter. I don't want to use up too much of our stamina. Rushing this way. Is that something special and shiny? It seems like something special and shiny. Hmm. It feels like a rock I need to poke. So we'll investigate in just a second. All right, kittens. Yes, my fussy ones. Here you are, more food. We are, yes! And we have gotten to the point where now I think that we can actually, whoa. Yes, many, many skulls we have collected. And now they can follow along, there we go. All right, you four. I'm going to do my best to keep you all alive and remember all your names. What is this? There. What was that? So what did that find? Some sort of rare rock, I think. That's really cool. But all right, they are old enough to leave the shelter, my friends, and that means that we are going to be setting off on a journey of doing our best to keep them alive until they are big enough to head off and to find find territory and the life of their own. But their little lives are precious and small and begin here with us. And we're gonna try to do our best to be able to, oh, look at them stretch. To keep them safe, to keep them fed, to keep them away from predators and the trials of the world of which there are far too many that would turn our cubs into a snack or would lead them to starving or would lead them to falling into somewhere where they shouldn't be. The wildlife can be a very, very difficult and challenging one. And it's going to be our responsibility to try to do our best to give them a good start. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for our little baby lynxes. And for their hardworking mother who just wants the best for their survival. And for the fact that apparently I am completely enamored with, um... I know, hi! Oh, it's summer now! Look at the shifting of the season! I, or it's just like evening, perhaps. It'd be a little early for summer. Wow. But yes, a like for Mama Lynx. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!